YouTube, it's Kaboo says WTF here, aka Scott's Mods on a Modding Community. This is my second time making this because I accidentally deleted it the first time. Alright, well today I'm here to bring you uh, Dead Rising 2 mods for the Xbox 360, obviously. Anyway, what this save comes with, well first let's just say I'm going to be showcasing two sla basically two save slots and an extra add-on uh, mod or edit or developer thing as I will say. And we'll get into that later. Anyway, as you can see, on these two save slots, you'll be level 50, max total PP, max overall money, max money spent, max overall total PP, and max zombie kill count. Also, your attributes, aka stats, status, aka stats, will be max. However, your attack is one hit kill, uh, your speed and stuff, all that shit is all up as high as it can be. However, the first uh, save slot I'm going to be showing you is save slot 3. I would love to call this one uh, Glitch World, and I will show you that in a minute. However, on this save slot, save slot 3, you will have no skills, and there is no way to get skills. Sorry, but that's just the way it has to be. Also, key items, you'll have the sports car and SUV key, and that's all the stuff you can basically get to have fun. Alright, I would love to call this Glitch World. In Glitch World, there will be no zombies, and I obtained Glitch World, aka developer debug mode, as I was saying earlier. And with Glitch World, you can basically just uh, do roleplay and just do whatever you want with no zombie interference. Invite to a friend to a game and, you know, just play around, have fun, you know, do whatever you want. Alright, another add-on is uh, it has super far throw distance. Alright, well that's pretty much it for this save. And you can see at the bottom right-hand corner you have 999999 kills. Um, with that said, you can get more kills than what it says down there. Also, you have max money, max life, max uh, level, and max inventory space. Like so. Alright, anyway, that's it for this save. Besides, do not go to the safe house, because once you go to the safe house, you'll trigger a cutscene. And once you trigger that cutscene, you will reset the game to the default, which means Glitch World will no longer, no longer exist, and you'll have zombies and everything, and it'll be the original campaign. Alright, well, that's pretty much it for this save. So I'm just going to quit and go to the next one. Alright, now then, on save slot 1... You will be on day one, aka the safe house. Uh, on this save, you'll have all secret clothes, aka all, all clothes you can get in the game. Not all clothes you can get in the game, but all secret clothes, good clothes, whatever you want to call it. And you'll also have the night suit. However, you will not start out with good weapons. I'm sorry. Uh, like I said, you have one hit kill and basically all that. For this save, it's basically for a semi legit playthrough with a one hit kill zombie uh, strike to a kick to the face or a hit with a punch. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright guys, we're back. And right now I'm in front of a zombie. And you basically have every skill in this. I'm just going to show you that real fast. You basically have every skill, I think. Yeah, you have every skill and a bunch of good key items. Alright, enough of that. Uh, this, like I said, it says one hit kill and I'm just going to show you that real fast. The funnest thing to do is do a kick. And they will go flying, as you saw right there. And like I said, one hit kill again. Hang on. Like so. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for the saves. Now I'm going to show you uh, developer debug mode. Debug mode. Also, save slot two. Um, it's where you're on the uh, last case file with basically everything I just said in the other saves. Besides, you get to kill zombies, blah blah blah. Like save one, but it's on the last case file for. Uh, Basically, if you've never got to the end of the game, you just want to get to the end and skip a lot of shit. So, yeah. Also, uh, right now, here's debug mode. It's where I have debug enter. That's basically starting a new campaign from scratch. And then debug jump. Debug jump is where you can basically um, just select any case file and any mission and just skip to there and play. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, uh, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Also, debug mode. I will release it for uh, JTAG users and ISO users later. However, with ISO, this can't be used online because it has been patched. Sorry, but it's true. Um, I'll release the uh, the files whenever I get this dude a uh, message on YouTube. I forgot his name. But message him to send me his INI file. That will uh, give me uh, quick menu access. And with quick menu, you can basically do no clip and spawn zombies and a bunch of other cool stuff. So uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Buy another round and try to shut us down. By the now we're a go, but we still in this bitch.